tonight on KSL Outdoors. Tag along as we take a look back at some of our favorite stories of 2016. We'll relive some fun fishing trips and some of our best hunts. Plus, we'll show you what we believe is our best story of the year. I'm Adam Eakle, and this is KSL Outdoors. KSL Outdoors with Adam Eagle he is brought to you by your local Ford stores. Thanks for tuning in to KSL Outdoors and welcome to our best of 2016 show. I'm Adam Eagle along with producer Jared Hargrave and Jared, we had a pretty good year. It's always fun to reflect on uh, the places we've been, the people we've met. Yeah, that's right. In fact, we got to travel all over the state this year for the Utah Cutthroat right. Slam. There we go. We caught all four Utah species in their native range. That was a lot of fun. That was really cool. Sometimes, I don't know why, we struggle catching fish. It doesn't always work out the best, but this year, for some reason, it was the year of the big fish. We got lucky. We did get lucky, and so we're kicking it off with our ice fishing trip to Lost Creek. Oh, good fish. Damn, trying to take drag. This might be a cut. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh! Did you see that fish? Oh. <laughs> oh. Get the sleeve up for you. Holy cow. Look at him. Take line back down the bottom. He's, he's going back down. Oh, we can go back down. <laughs> going back down to the bottom. Yet, no. Adam. Biggest fish by far. Look that at that tank. Beautiful. What do you think? We're gonna measure him. All right. Yeah. Look at that fish. Oh man, did he give me a ride? That's as big as anything I've caught at Strawberry, guys. Boy, that big uh, cutthroat was a sure great way to kick off the new year. <laughs> yeah, that was huge. And our luck continued down at Penguin Lake for ice off. That's right. We hit it just right, didn't we? Sure did. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's, oh. he's got a really colorful one. What do you got, rainbow? It's a tiger. It's oh. easy, it's more colorful either. Okay, we'll get this one and we'll be right there. You might be able to get a picture of both of them. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, that is a mess of tigers right there. Pretty male there. We have a lot of other really great fisheries in this area. Everything from- Eight pounds of fish right there. Navajo Lake. Uh, which is nearby here that produces splake up to 10 pounds. We have Otter Creek Reservoir, which uh, produces a lot of quality sized rainbows. Ready? Don't fall in, Ethan. Good job. Nice one. Good job, dude. Good boy. Pretty rainbow, Doug. That looks like a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a tank. There we go. Nice rainbow. Alright, we'll put it back in. I think we were at uh, Penguin for ice off around the end of April. It was pretty good fishing. Yeah, I'd say it was probably the best ice off story I've ever shot. Yeah, a lot of fun. And hey, yeah. and speaking of fun, we also caught up with the Twin Territory boys, AJ, Jason, Cameron, mm -hmm. and uh, boy, are they a lot of fun. Man, they're a ton of fun and super good anglers. They are, but it was the old man that schooled them this year. There he is. Oh, it's a good one. Big tiger. <laughs> It's supposed to be on the fly, but I just had to see a tiger trout in here. This looks like a good three, four pound fish. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Did you, you might need to net this, Al. <laughs> He's right here below. There he is. No! Oh! I'm through the bubble. Oh, cow. Dude, that's a, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> oh, I wish it was on a fly rod. That's the biggest tiger I've ever caught. It's over 24. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ow. Oh, my gosh. That Ooh. thing's huge. How cool is that, huh? That is awesome. That tiger trout's the biggest I've ever caught, but the boys really? did say, yeah, the boys did say I had to cheat to catch it. I guess I kind of did. <laughs> They're probably right. Yeah. But they would know they got bright futures ahead uh, in the outdoors, that's for sure. Yeah, they do. Good kids. Yeah. Hey, coming up on KSL Outdoors, we'll show you some of our favorite hunts of the year. But first, this week's climate quiz question. Back in June, we showed you some beautiful grayling that we caught somewhere in Utah. Our climate quiz question tonight is, what mountain range were we fishing when we caught those big grayling? Now, if you know the answer, log on to our KSL Outdoors Facebook page. Give us the correct mountain range, and while you're at it, give us a like. We'll then randomly select and announce a winner on our Facebook page the following week. The winner, set to walk away with a Climate Static V sleeping pad. Climate, comfortable, rugged, and lightweight. KSL Outdoors, powered by Ford. We'll be right back. KSL Outdoors is also brought to you by Fish Tech Outfitters, Utah State Parks, Burt Brothers, Sportsman's Warehouse, Evanston, Wyoming, Climate, Intermountain Wind and Solar, and Camp Chef. Welcome back to KSL Outdoors and our best of 2016 outdoor show. I'm Adam Eco along with Jared Hargrave. And you know, Jared, it was just a month ago we were down Get ready. Get ready. on the Henry Mountains with uh, Glenn Cloward following him on his once in a lifetime bison hunt. Can I throw up now? Yeah, that was a great time. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we first ran into the Cloward family in the basin for a cottontail hunt. Yeah, it turned out to be one of our most popular and our, one of our most fun hunts for sure. What's the key for finding rabbits this morning? Uh, rocks and south facing slopes. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbits. Oh, shoot. We let a few away, but it's an active, fun, interactive hunt. <laughs> oh, there he is. A good first hunt, isn't it? It's a great first hunt. Kids aren't bored, they're just excited to keep going. Good shot. We love it because we can, uh, it's like a practice for a big game hunt. I mean, we can go out there with a rifle with a scope on it and see rabbits and shoot them at long range or close range or whatever. So it's, I think it's good for the kids to practice for that kind of stuff too, with all the safety and yeah. it's, it's everything you need to know about hunting. There's two, huh? Yeah. We picked up a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Where's yeah. your smile, man? Good, good clean shots. It was awesome. The Clouds are a pretty neat family. Yeah, super nice guys. Yeah, and they've acquired kind of a unique bond being in the outdoors as a family. It's kind of neat to see. Yeah. Speaking of hunting families, we got to follow your wife, Tanya, on her big elk hunt. He was facing us. I got my sights on him and steady. He had me wait until he went broadside, so he shouldn't have gone broadside. <laughs> I practiced for that. <laughs> Good job. Back it up. Hit him again. Hit him again. Right there, through the trees. Just right on the side. Take your time. He's not going anywhere. Nice shot. Boom! <laughs> he did it. He's rolling down. I don't know what he is, but he's a good bull. Standing up even. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't go far. Ew. What? He's smelly. He stinks? Mm-hmm. Congrats, baby. Thanks. Nice bull. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Nice six by six. Yeah. Good job. Cool. Tanya got a great ball. <laughs> Yeah, and you had fun shooting it all bit. I sure did, yeah. Yeah, I was a little stressed, but uh, it was memories like that that we'll keep forever. And speaking of memories, I actually shot my biggest buck to date down in Sonora last year. You didn't get to go. I wish I did. <laughs> but it was a ton of fun with our friends from King's Camel. Great on the left, on the back. What are you thinking, my air say? Fronts are good. Get Raising on. a skyline. There's a perfect picture right there. What do you think, Clark? Thanks, good. Nice buck. Yeah. For you? For me? <laughs> <laughs> What's you? Mm -hmm. 
Me? No, him, yes, see. I figured the buck to be about 29 inches wide and about a 185 to 190 class typical. Kevin disagrees. I think he's even better than that, I really do. Do you? Yeah. Well, that's a giant. We're looking at him and he's a, uh, he's a pig. He's got a couple does. Not quite big enough for, for Kevin, but he's oh. plenty big yeah. for me. Go ahead, Eagle. Oh, let's go get him. Oh my gosh, look at that antler sticking up. Oh! I told you. What are you guys doing? Tell me he's one freaking 80 bucks. He's a slug! There is no ground shrinkage, as the buck was what Kevin thought he'd be. 30 inches wide and pushing 200 inches. That is a tank. I mean, he's just a, he's a buck of a lifetime. I know that gets cliche for a lot of people, but that's the biggest deer I think I've ever killed. No, I guard again. <laughs> you know, with Tanya's bull and my buck, it could be my all-time favorite year of hunting. It was big. Yeah, Good was... year. Coming up, Jared and I will show you what we believe is our best story of the year. But first, back to the guys at Fish Tank for tonight's fishing report. Hi, I'm Dan from Mrs. Fish Tank Outfitters. I've got a few items here that might help you out if you throw them in your sled. People that use ice tents need to put their anchors in. You got a T anchor, you got a loop anchor. Well, I've got three different items here that you can put on a cordless drill and you can screw those anchors in real easy. The other thing is always take some rope. Take, this is a 50 foot piece of rope. If you get down off a hill, you got to drag that sled up. It's a lot easier to walk up tie the sled up and then pull it up by hand. The other thing is, if you've got glow grubs for like burbot fishing, there's three different ways of charging those. We got one that'll hook onto your rod, one that folds over and it kind of like a flash bulb, and then also we've got a UV light. Ultraviolet light is what really charges those glow bugs up. If you just use a regular light, it will, but it'll take you about four times longer to charge them glow bugs up. This is not UV, it's LED. So come down and get you one of the UV lights. It works out a whole lot better. For any of these items or tips on how to ice fish, come on down to Fish Check and we'll help you out. Now for tonight's fishing line. Welcome back to KSL Outdoors, back to our best of our 2016 stories. I'm Adam Eco along with Jared Hargrave. And you know, Jared, for the past five or six years, good friends of the show, Gabe Patterson and Bob Thomas, have been taking young men and young women who have had some struggles in their lives on some fantastic elk hunts. Mm -hmm. Great hunts every time. And this year we got to take Jack Barney, the son of Fallen Officer Doug Barney. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Fun filled three days, and it turned out to be our best story of the year. Doug was a family man. He loved being a husband and a father. Doug Barney served 18 years as a police officer. Doug was shot and killed while searching for a man who left the scene of a traffic accident. Thousands of police officers from across the nation, as well as thousands of Utah citizens, came to pay their respects to a man known not only as a great officer, but as a great man. Who can forget the touching moment when his 13-year-old son Jack stood over his father's American flag draped casket and said goodbye? They often say that it takes a village. And today and in days past and over the course of last year, I would say that we have seen a village come together over and over and over again. When they see a member of the tribe that has fallen or has lost their way, we muster ourselves and we come forward and offer those tokens that can continue the journey. Hunting, I think, is the perfect metaphor for this. You're about to engage in a ritual that all young men and women throughout history have engaged in, predominantly with their parents. In this case, your dad cannot be here, but there are a thousand dads, 10,000 dads. When one falls, the others will stand. Uh, the fact that uh, all of these people have come together in the way they have is uh, an amazing thing. We love you, Jack, and we'll always be there for you.
put the smack daddy on him. You ready? Get ready right there. Don't shoot him. That's a good ball. Okay. That might be. He might be over 300. Four or five times we put it, we were on our bellies trying to put a sneak on this elk. How good your rest? I was frazzled. I, I couldn't take it another second, you know. I, I was killing me and Jack's calm as a cucumber laying behind that scope. How's you? <laughs> the relief that I felt and the happiness of that moment, unbelievable. I mean, it, that's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. What do you think of that? <laughs> that's why we do this. <laughs> See his oh, antlers? Oh, <laughs> nailed him. Nailed him. <laughs> what a shot. Oh, he's a pretty bull. To be able to come and be part of something like this is is a dream. Is a dream for me. Show everybody what you put in your pocket. Oh yeah, I got yes, my yes. lucky charm right up here. Your dad's coin. Uh huh. Dear old dad's hanging tight with you. Yeah. Very cool, dude. I think your dad would be pretty proud, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. He was really proud of us. That's one of the things I remember a lot. He always pushed us and just thought we were the best like he was a really good man and I just really want to be like him who's sleeping in he is big I'll tell you something kind of on a personal note my marriage fell apart a couple months ago and being up here with this family is the best I've slept in two months yeah. Um, so I think I owe them a, a thank you. Funny how doing something nice for another family can help you. We knew as soon as we watched the stories that uh, that was one of the better stories we've done all year. And boy, it was it was just tough to put together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know it's something powerful when you're sitting in the edit bay putting it together and tearing up. Yeah, good family, uh, good organization, good people that that helped uh, help the Barney family out. They, they sure deserve all of our love. Hey, more here coming up on KSL Outdoors in a moment, but first, tonight's recreation forecast. Welcome back to KSL Outdoors. I'm Adam Eagle. You know, it's fun every week for Jared and I to see all the pictures you guys send in and some of the places you take your families. We'll be changing it up a little bit for 2017, giving away a new prize for our weekly contest. We'll still have our quarterly Facebook contest for a Camp Chef pellet grill. So without any further ado, let's give you this week's, or our last week of 2016 of our Snapshot of the Week. We kick it off with this cool shot that Bill sent us of his buddy Lee fishing from the banks of starvation just two weeks ago. Bill caught the reflection of the sky off the glassy surface of the lake while Lee shows off his catch. There were three buddies all retired from UPS that day fishing, and they all had a great time. Braxton drew a CWMU tag on the same property his dad's family owned when his dad was younger. Braxton's dad, Casey, was ecstatic to take his son to the same place he has made so many memories on. And Braxton, well, he took this bruiser of a buck on the first day. Gary drew a Wasatch late season rifle tag after 12 years of applying. Gary scouted a ton and found some great bulls. This cool, heavy old bull, Gary shot right through the heart. Luckily, Gary says he had five friends and family members there to help pack out the old warrior off the mountain. Seven-year-old Devin Duncan was up at Bear Lake on a family vacation when he heard that there were lake trout living in there. Well, that meant dad was in trouble. The next day, the boat was on the water bright and early and after five minutes of trolling, Devin had hooked the Bear Lake monster. Devin reeled the big fish in all by himself and couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the big 20-pound lake trout come up from the depths of Big Blue, a memory Devin and his dad will never forget. And finally, our winner got a cool snapshot of a buck with the buck's sheds from the year before. After matching up this set of sheds this spring, Larry Maurer set out for a once-in-a-lifetime photo. With the help of his friend Ernest Rowley and fellow photographers Ryan and Carrie, Larry finally got the shot he wanted. A picture of Ryan taking a picture of Carrie 
holding the sheds off the buck behind her. Larry says it goes to show teamwork can pay off. A cool shot, Larry, to go with our cool prize as you just won our snapshot of the week. Remember, submit your pictures or video plus an explanation of your latest outdoor adventures online at ksltv.com. The winner each week wins a commemorative 100th anniversary National Park's cast iron Dutch oven and skillet. And the winner is also entered into our Ford Trucks quarterly Facebook giveaway for a Camp Chef pellet grill. If you're going to smoke, grill, or bake, the Camp Chef Smoke Pro's got you covered. Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Well, we sure hope you enjoy watching the show as much as Jared and I enjoy putting it together. It's a lot of fun. I consider it a privilege yeah, every week. Good times. Hey, we'd like to leave you with maybe a little hint for 2017. Hoping you'd maybe take a family friend, maybe a kid out, take them fishing, hunting, let them experience the great outdoors we have here in Utah. Until next year, I'm Adam Eagle for Jared Hargrave, wishing you a great new year. Good night.